Let's talk about everybody's second favorite quadrilateral. What's your second favorite quadrilateral? A rhombus? Really? Oh, you mean a rectangle. Sorry, I misheard you. What's really neat about a rectangle? Well, it's just like a stretched out square, isn't it? You still have right angles inside, don't you? Uh, then we can be happy. So, what's special about a rectangle? It's a stretched out square. Okay, that's not, okay, you're just copying me now. If I say that this is the length of a rectangle and this is the width, because they're not necessarily the same length, are they? No. no. But we know that the opposite sides are going to be the same length, right? So opposite here would be another L. Opposite here would be another width measurement. Do you all agree? So if I were to talk about the perimeter of this, the perimeter has the length plus the width, but you have another length as you go around the other side and then another width. Do you all agree? But of course you can't leave it like this. I know you can't because I've made you guys so OCD that you have to combine like terms. There are like terms to combine and when you combine them, what do you have? You have two two lengths and then you have what? Two widths. Two widths. You all agree? Mm -hmm. Now please understand that if we we're talking about the length of a rectangle, it's just the length, okay? The formula says two in front of this because as you go around, you have the length twice. Like I was telling you about the border for these tables. The length of the table may be 44 inches but you'd have 44 inches on both sides, so you'd have to double that for the amount of material that you need. So what if I give you, you know, a rectangle? And I say here that this guy is 42 inches, and this is 13 inches. So I'm giving you that this is a rectangle. A lot of times you'll see it designated with the right angles in the corners. How can I find the perimeter? What's the formula for perimeter for a rectangle? Twice the length plus twice the width. Do you all agree with that? So do you know the perimeter? No, do you know what P is? Did I tell you the total perimeter? No. no we're trying to find. So, right, and that's what I'm trying to find. Did I give you the length? Yes. Yes. Did I give you the width? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Notice what I've done now. You know that 2 is a number, L is a number, 2 is a number, and W is a number, so you know everything in here except for one unknown guy, right? So let's work this out. The perimeter is twice the length. What is the length? 42 plus twice the, what's the width? 13. So when I do the math here, what's 2 times 42? 84 plus what? 26. And what is that total perimeter? That's 110. Inches. Thank you, Augustus, for reminding us of the units. 110 inches. You guys okay with that? If I were to do some estimating here, just really, really rough estimating, 42 inches, I could round to about what? 40, I might round 13 to what? 10. Notice that when we were doing the rounding there, we were rounding below the actual numbers, right? So let me know that my actual answer should be larger. What's 40 and 10? So you'd have 50 here, you'd have about another 50 here, right? What's 50 and 50? 100. So is my answer of 110 appropriate? Yes, it's not exact because the first thing I did was an estimation, but it is close enough to let me know that what I have here is probably correct. Questions about that? All right. Might want to buckle up for this one. Or not. <laughs> Live life on the edge.
All right, so let's look at this guy. If I say that this is 19 feet, and then I say that the total perimeter is, well, it sounds good, 88? My total perimeter is 88 feet. Can you find this missing width, this, this W? Can you find that? Karen, you're nodding. You, you got this? So here's what we do. Anytime we're using a formula, before we do anything, we write the formula down. Do you understand? Because if you don't, you got to make a mistake. Plus, if you write a formula down every time you use it, so every time that you're practicing this work, you're writing the formula, then you won't have to remember the formula because through repetition, you'll know it. Just like, you know how when you're first driving a car, you have that little sticky note that said, left is stop, right is go. Once you started practicing driving, you didn't have to think about which one was the brake pedal anymore, which one was the accelerator. Same thing here. What do you know? Do you know the perimeter? Yep. Yep. You do know because, look, I just told you it was 88 feet, right? Mm -hmm. You know the two. That's just a number. Do you know your length? Yes. It's right here. It says 19. You know the two. Do you know your W? So look, I put a check mark over everything except for one unknown. So then what will you do? What? Plug in. Plug in what you know, and you'll solve for the one unknown, right? And we know how to solve because that's what we've been doing the past, the past few days. So what are you going to replace the P with? 88. So 88 equals 2 times, what's my L? 19 plus 2 times W. So far, so good? Question? Huh? Oh, you already have the answer? la ti da <laughs> All right, so 88 is equal to, let's do some math here. What's 2 times 19? That's 38. Now look what I have here. This is one of those nice two-step problems that we were doing earlier today. How do I get W by itself? What's the first step? Divide. Not to divide. Subtract. Don't do division till the very end. See, he still has other stuff next to him. You've got to get rid of this first. So I'm going to subtract 38 on both sides. So that goes away. 88 minus 38 is what? It's 50 equals 2W. And then I can finish solving for W by doing what? Divided by 2. Which means W equals what? Okay, it is 25, but we want to make sure we include proper units. So it's 25 feet. That's what you got? <coughs> okay. You divided by 2 first? No, I divided 38 and 2, 88. You mean you subtracted 38 from 88? Because it gave me the other, it gave me 50. And half of 50. Yep, half of 50 gives me is 25. Yeah. Yep. I just did it in front. That right. way it confuses me. All right. Are there any questions about what we did here? Yes. <coughs> Just understand that width and length, one doesn't have to be longer than the other. Because sometimes you may s even see this when they talk about a rectangle. Um, you have a rectangle, instead of using length and width, they may use B and H for the base and the height. So here, perimeter would be 
twice the base plus twice the height. It's the same thing. It's just you make I, sometimes you call it length and width. Sometimes you call it base and height. It's still going to be the same. Okay.